Okay, today we're going to be removing and installing the blower, cooling, and heater unit. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's do it. I'm going to start removing some of these fasteners, taking it off, and then putting it back on. As you can see, I have removed the entire dash to give much more access. Here's the dash. I have a video showing how to remove it. There's the entire dash right here. <laughs> so, alright, so it looks like about 10 millimeters, so start right now. Okay, I removed these fastener right here, this fastener, and that fastener, and this is pulled right down, and you need to go to the inside the engine bay, and disconnect these lines here, and collect the fluids, and inside there is the cooling, there's like a radiator in there, so that's that, here's what the other side looks like, really cool, really cool. It's got all the fins on it. And here's this without the motor. This is the heater. Oh, the bl blower unit. Heater blower unit without the motor. So, disconnect all the electrical wires. <laughs> <laughs> got this fast. <laughs> I need to remove this fastener right here. If I can get in camera. There we go. <laughs> okay. Fastener was removed around here somewhere, and there's another one over here. Almost removed. Almost have the heater unit taken off. Thumbs up. There it is. There's that unit. So you need to disconnect these lines back here and um, one of these, I'm not sure which one, but it was evacuated by an expert that came in, evacuated it. And then um, so now to remove the rest of it and this is a heater unit it's really cool and make sure it doesn't drip on you okay The real goal here is to find these Zexel units. Finding the Zexel unit can be very fun. And it's like an Easter egg. You look for Easter eggs, you're looking for Zexel units. They hide all over this Mazda 626. This one was hiding inside the blur unit. It was just like so. It was hiding behind the middle. Just like camouflaged behind here, like that. But your job is to find them. And I found quite a, quite a few Zexel units. Zexel units are they're just units that need to be found because they're hiding out in your car. And they could be um, secret um, listening devices. So get your, put your Illum Illuminati hat on. Put your Illumina uh, Illuminati hat on and um, cloud trails and all that crap. And uh, there's another one in here too. There's another uh, Zexel unit. There it is. I don't want to open the door because it's holding my umbrella up. This unit is back here. Oh boy, I can't reach it. Oh, oh let's get it right. This unit, there we go, I got it. I'm not sure where this unit came from, but it came off one of these uh, cooling unit or heater units. And these Zexels, Zexel units are equivalent to uh, finding a, a bottle cap on Fallout, the Fallout games. 
anyway so keep an eye out for these exo units they're very cool and collectible try to collect all no, well, five or six collect all five those exo units in your mazda 626 It'd be very fun <coughs> very fun i'm gonna take screws off this one and collect it because that's what we do we collect the zexel units here and not even pizza video studios Right. Okay, welcome back to another Mad Human Pizza video. In this video, we're going to show you the crash airbag crash sensor unit right here. This is behind the dashboard, and here's the dashboard. So you have to remove. You might be able to get back to this without taking anything out. Just curl underneath your uh, old floor. Well, get on your floorboard. And reach back here and I was able to remove two fasteners right here but there's a final fastener back here that was too difficult to reach so and this is 10 millimeter so you should be able to reach this without taking any of this apart so there's three fasteners here this is the Mazda 626 and take off these nuts and um, they, they look just like so and then just take that up and you disconnect this electrical connector right here. So let me set the camera down. Oh. Change the change the battery pack that the camera says. It always says that. Because that battery is like five, six years old. So we're gonna take this electrical connection off. Off. There you go. Here is oh my God, the camera's falling off the tripod. There we go. All right, so here it is. Airbag crash unit sensor. Airbag crash sensor unit. And then there's all the various languages. So that's how you remove it. Made in Portugal. Cool. Um, and if you want to go further, I don't, I don't uh, recommend that you do. Take these uh, Torx bits off and go further. But uh, so that's removal. Installation is reversal. So you just line it up on those um, studs. Put them back down there. Connect this back up. Put your fastener down, and you are good to go. This has been another Mad Human Pizza video. Have a great day. Okay, so you want to remove your gas pedal because it's broken and you want to put a new one on. This is how you replace your gas pedal. You don't have to take all the dash off, but I happen to have the whole dashboard off for my convenience. But anyway, you can just crawl underneath the dash and access these three bolts, which are right. There's one right here, 10 millimeter, one right here, and one back here. Remove those fasteners. And then you'll have these to deal with, these little cables. You'll have to be able to remove it, remove the cable off the top of the gas pedal. And then down here is the gas pedal. And you can always remove remove the top, well, I don't think this is metal, but you can add, um, you know, fashionable gas pedal um, covers, just like you would your cell phone. And, uh, cause people do that. So I'm gonna remove, remove these fasteners. And you don't need an extension, but I already have it on the socket wrench, so take that off there, and it'll be right back at you. <coughs> okay, so I have this fastener removed, and now you got to get this, um, the, um, cables removed. So, you got to twist it around, twist it around to where this is lined up with the hole. To be able to get this to come out, twist it around. All right, I'm gonna work with it a little bit. Okay, use a pair of pliers and squeeze, squeeze the end right here. You squeeze it, and then you can push it out. That's how you get that to come out, and then you can, then then you can twist the uh, cable out, just 
like so. And there we go. I took the I took the one off already. So there you go. Okay, here's the gas pedal taken off in all its glory. And it's the gas pedal is very it's a very nifty device. You push down a little bit, there's a little bit of a spring back here, and that spring mechanism just transfers the uh, energy to this metal pole and that metal pole transfers the energy to this springs the couple of springs and then eventually eventually it works its way to opening up the um the old uh, ignition chamber or whatever but this has been another magazine pizza video have a great that's how you remove it installation is a reversal removal so here's installation so we're going to put this back on shove that back in there the same thing with this one put that back in here and sh squeeze it squeeze those tabs while you push that back in there and then bolt that back up that's how you install it and you'll be good to go then after you do that so just reversal of installation and have a great day and just have lots of pizza okay taking this rear view mirror off uh seemed to have broken it that's just this piece of metal up here just hanging up there by a little bit of glue that was on there that came off and so the mirror just this just slides over like that I'm not gonna f see look it came off like that but as you can see this is how you put it on so this is up on the mirror and it just slides right into place just like so all the way it goes all the way up all the way up and then to take it off you kind of pull it out put a I put a screwdriver up in there but it shattered the glass a little bit so I'm just gonna put that back up there this is what I do here Maddie and pizza I'm just take apart this car and uh, I'm gonna junk it make some videos have a good old time Put it back. Yeah, put it back. Yeah, that's, that's the glass right there. There you go. Stay up there. I don't shatter the glass. All right, it's not sticking no more. Oh well. Have a great day.